Good morning, songbirds. So today we're going to talk about breathing, a touchy subject for some. The thing is, you naturally breathe. It's an automatic process. You don't have to think about it. In fact, thinking about it sometimes gets you too self-conscious and you start to breathe unnaturally and you hold your breath and you get stiff. You're like, what am I doing? Am I breathing right? Um, <laughs> so a big part of breathing for singing is to get out of your head, let it be natural, and then slowly introduce some concepts that you can integrate in an easy manner. Um, it will be weird at first, it just will be because you're paying attention to something that's so natural. Just like meditation, when you start to focus on your breath for the first time, you're kind of like, the idea is that you don't have to think about breathing, you're just noticing it. Um, and you'll get there. You'll get there with the singing too. You'll get to sing, um, to breathe in that full breath, 360 degrees. Your lungs should move forward and sideways because that's going to give you the deepest, fullest breath. So the number one thing is don't raise your shoulders. There's no lung capacity up here and you're really just kind of, kind of creating some anxiety just by, okay. So we want to avoid that. So you want to practice in a mirror so that you can see that your, um, your shoulders are not raising. So that's like the first thing you can do is just pay attention. Just breathe and just notice if your shoulders are moving. And if they are, just try to relax, shake it out, shake it out, shake it out. And then focus a little bit more again to try not to move those shoulders. So at first you might have to go ahead and really pay attention and be like, okay, I have to push these shoulders down. <sighs> don't let them rise. Nope, nope, don't let them rise. Um, and that's okay. Because once your brain makes that connection, that that's what you're supposed to do. You won't have to think about it anymore. So that's number one. Number two, your chest is naturally going to rise a little bit because it's just how the, the chest and the lungs work. So when you breathe in, it kind of goes like this. So this coming up a little bit is different than this. You see the difference? So you don't want to do this, but this is normal. But again, this isn't the concentration. This is just a very slight thing that's going to happen. Where you really want your lungs filled is in that bottom portion of that lungs because there's more lung capacity down there and you want all that air in there and you get it all nice in there it'll also fill up the top part of the lungs you'll get the deepest breath that you can get so how do you do that well this is where um, the intercostal muscles come into play and those are the muscles between the ribs so you want those to expand and it's kind of like a balloon when you breathe in everything's gonna get bigger and when you let go it's all gonna rush out right that's just natural. Okay. So what we're trying to do is focus on keeping that balloon expanded as long as possible. So when you breathe in, you want your ribs to go forward and backward and side to side. Now that can be tricky for someone who's never thought about it before, who's never breathed like that before. As women, especially as women, we tend to want to suck in our gut. I remember my grandma telling me when I was like, I don't know, 12, she's like, okay, so shoulders back, suck in your stomach, you know? And I was like, oh, okay, that's how I'm supposed to walk as a woman and that's how I'm supposed to breathe. So I started breathing from up here, like, oh, that's sexy if I breathe from up here. Uh, it's also really not a healthy way to breathe. I mean, it's not gonna hurt you, but it's not gonna help you sing. Um, so you gotta just relax on worrying about how you look. Like your stomach's gonna go out a little bit, that's okay. Like belly breathing is something people talk about. Babies naturally breathe and their stomachs move out, right? So it's not that you're like trying to make your stomach go out. That's not it. It's just that you're letting your anatomy do what it does. And by relaxing that, your stomach is naturally going to go out. You're not trying to push it out and fill it like that. Because again, your belly isn't, um, it doesn't have the muscles that are actually doing the work to push the air out when you're controlling the air. Again, it's not about pushing out air when you sing. It's about controlling uh, how fast the air comes out so that you can hold on to those notes as long as you need and uh, all that good stuff that singing um, is about. So you've got your lungs moving in all directions. So how do you do that? Because that seems a little tricky, right? 
So one exercise for that I've kind of developed that I think is helpful is to focus just on the front and back. Forget about the sides, just, it's gonna be a little weird, but that's okay. So you're gonna go front and back, front and back. And then you're gonna try side to side. Side to side, okay? It's gonna be weird at first because these are, it's just different. It's it's different muscles. You're learning how to breathe like this. So it's gonna feel like you're, um, like, yeah, you're using muscles. You're going like this. You're like, what? This accordion in my body? <laughs> um, but that's just fine. So once you kind of learn what those muscles feel like and what it feels like to breathe like this, breathe like this, then you're going to alternate. You're going to go like this, like this, like this, like this. Okay. And then when you get that down, you're going to start doing in one breath, forward, sideways, together, forward, sideways, together. And again, it's going to be a little discoordinated at first. It's going to be literally like one, two, three, four. Okay. That's fine. Again, we're learning how to use our body in a different way. So it's going to take a little bit of adjustment to train your brain that, oh, okay, this is what I can do. So do, 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 do. And then you're going to get to like this. It's going to come out together more like a balloon, just all out at the same time. And when you naturally do that, when you just put your hands on your ribs and you take a breath and it goes in all directions at once, you made it. That is the goal. That is going to get you the nice deepest breath of air. So that's the first things about breathing correctly, um, efficiently, you know, you say correct or wrong it's really about efficiency, right? Like you can sing without um, breathing in an efficient manner, but you're not going to be able to sing as well. Um, you have to take breaths all the time. It's gonna ruin the, the mood, the ability to sing long notes, you know, all that good stuff. So working your breathing is definitely worth doing, but here's a really important caveat. If you're ever getting too like oh, technical and like, oh my gosh, nothing's coordinating, it's not working. And all of a sudden you're finding it hard to sing. What you need to do is just take a break, shake it out, shake it out. Cause you got to get out of your head so that your body can get back to just breathing because that is a natural process that you don't have to think about. And then you're going to slowly introduce, you know, just one concept at a time. Um, and that's really, really going to help. Like one of my students was having um, a little bit of trouble with this and makes sense. She's a brand new singer. She's, it's been really fun working with her. She's great. Hi, Julie. Um, but the breathing is, you know, a challenging concept when all of a sudden you're concentrating on something that's normally natural. I ended up having her just like, okay, stop, shake it out, shake it out, dance, dance, dance. And then just start singing, la, 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 singing, ooh, 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 singing, yeah. Um, and when you do that, like your body kicks in, the muscle memory, you just sing naturally because singing is natural. It's something that we do as little kids. It's just, it's not hard. We make it hard. Um, and there's techniques that we can use that are more challenging, but the act of singing itself, you can sing, I promise. So when you get back into your body and just kind of let yourself loosen up and stop thinking, then you can slowly do things again, like pay attention. Okay, I'm breathing and what are my shoulders doing? Oh, they're not going up. Awesome. Or I'm singing, I'm singing, I'm taking a breath and I'm singing. Oh no, there's my shoulders. Oh, there's my shoulders. Oh, there's my shoulders. Keep my shoulders down. 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 So that's kind of how you trick your mind into relaxing and letting your body work in with you, right? So you kind of just like speed it up, have fun, be silly, just woo, do it, do it, do it. Just be gentle with your voice so you're not pushing anything. And then start like paying attention to the shoulders while you're doing it. And then you slow it down so you're thinking about it. And then you're taking breaths, thinking about it and singing.
and more mindful and more mindful until it's not that hard. And you can do that anytime that you feel um, overwhelmed by thinking too much, right? So it's amazing how much singing is in our heads. It's a full body instrument and that includes your mind. So you have to use it to your advantage. And there's lots of ways that um, you can do that. So stay tuned. I will have more videos to share with you, more tips, more tricks. And if you're interested in taking private lessons with me, I have some amazing programs that I am doing and I do have room for students right now. So reach out to me, check me out on Instagram, on YouTube. Uh, I have a website, celesteastara.com. So you can check me out there. And yeah, feel free to send me a message. Let me know how you're doing, what you're thinking, where you want to go. And if you're ready to learn some more stuff one-on-one, -on -one, if you think our personalities line up and I'm the kind of teacher that would really work for you, then I think it would be wonderful to get started and either bring music back into your life in a new integrated way that you feel proud of and excited about or coming into music for the first time. Like I said, everyone can sing. It's a natural process. You just have to relax, loosen up, and learn some techniques so that you do it in a way that's efficient and healthy for your voice so that you can enjoy your voice throughout your whole life. All right, that's it. Have a great day, guys. Bye.